I think today I'm going to be doing like what do I think Sunderland need to do in January to like pretty much help out aim of all or my promoting if you don't know we're third in the league after 21 games for 42 points so yeah so let's get started so the goal I run through the positions and pretty much play it in the nap positions like Winchester midfield go to the right wing do you get like if you get remain they're not in the like position they've been playing so yeah and I'm going to run through through and look them and if I think I'm happy with them and any players that might leave and I'll see if we need a player so yeah the so goalkeepers forming off in labor and Anthony Patterson I'm happy with them three goalkeepers like I think they're all solid enough to play their part if you get the main birds is a good number two Hoffman's number one Patterson's good good young, young up and goalkeeper as we know I think Patterson will go out on loan either it's to Notch County I wonder is the reason why that we haven't like sent him back yet is there a temptation in January to try and get him on loan to a late two club to like get twenty twenty five games like on like for the second half of the thing and maybe next year he can come back with the goal game since will probably like change drastically with Hoffman's loan ending and and um, we well, obviously don't know what's going to happen there and Labour's being out out of contract so yeah and he can come back and compete so yeah. So I think Patterson might go on loan. Right back, if we're talking about natural, we've got no right back, of course. Winchester can play there, Gooch can play there, Huggins pavling to right back, but natural needs a left back. So I would like a right back to come in and compete, to be honest. I would probably compete with Lyndon Gooch for the right back position, like, and then I'll get on to why I will move Gooch back to right back in a bit. But move Gooch back to right back to complete with proper right back. And I think that would be good competition. Like Gooch will be more attacking one, maybe more defensive one will help. So yeah. Then at centre back, Tom Flanagan, Callum Dorrance, Bailey Wright, Frank Yarvis, Armin Jamali, Ollie Younger and John Wills, who's in the Southern really matter. For me, I'm happy with the centre back. But one thing, I do think Frank Yarvis will go back to West Ham in January and to be honest I think it will suit our parties if you get my main life for an example like Alvarez like is obviously frustrated at the football he's been getting there not not really enough he'd only played two league games all season like so he can go back and and like um and like go back to West Ham and like maybe get another loan to where he's going to play play week and week on while um we get uh, like free up a loan space to maybe bring somebody in on loan next month so yeah with Flank and Doyle and right all and Jamali and Younger and with them five I think we've got enough cover like with outside times like Willis might might be back so yeah I mean no surprise that like um there's been reports in the press today that Lee John wants to offer Bailey Wright a new contract was no surprise that he's aimed to as he likes Bailey Wright he's been clear on that and um and yes his contract expires at the end of the thing and the brand that will be happy to say right sign new contract so yeah then left back then a serving nile huggins and denby hume i think we're completely fine there huggins is out till january but he's serving in hume or close to return and turning so i think we'll be absolutely fine at left back for the rest of the season at least we'll get unlucky again and have have our three out and what what i don't think Think my will, so I think we're fine with Zerkin and Hume as our two left backs. Um, Zerkin number one, Hume and then number two, and I think in March is when Huggins is back to where we can have three, so yeah. Centre midfield is Dan Neil, Carl Winchester, um, Corey Evans, and Local Nine. I'm happy with all four of them to like be them playing pop, but I would add another one. Uh, for me, uh, for me, the first two will be Dan Neil and Carl Winchester. I think that that's our best midfield pair, in my opinion, but. But there's an outside chance that Winchester can also play like will play right back if you get one main as well. You've got to add into the fact that Evans, if we're being honest, being perfectly honest, can't stay a fifth blessing if you get one main in all nines. Going to be out of about another two, two and a half months after January. So I think another one wouldn't be like um, um a bad south to like for someone to come and like like be understudy to nail and Winchester and maybe if Winchester needs to go right back you've got someone to come in and you've also got Evans there as well so yeah so overall I'm happy but I would angle the centre midfield so yeah right when Goats and Dalyaku like I said I want both to stay um, both have been playing well recently Goats at left back Dalyaku um, in his position but what I would do, do is to free Goats to go and play right back I would rake our Jack Diamond 
and to come in and like compete with Dayaku. The Rage Mike with Diamond's being absolutely brilliant for um Have a Gear in the first half of the season got um I think five goals, four assists, something like that. And I think that while maybe last year the step up to League One from National League was too much, I think now Diamond can really come and play a part. Probably off the bench, like to come on, like um, with about ten, fifteen minutes, goals, run a tight leg, like, maybe get a few goals, few assists, and stuff like that. And so yeah, so I'm happy with Goats and Diaco, but I've got to wait hard time, and it gives us extra squad, especially with McGady being out till till the end of February. So yeah, so like like number ten is Elliot Embleton, Alex puts on Nino O'Brien. I'm happy with. Them, I do. I think puts on Embleton will steer. Puts on getting a wrong new team and Embleton not too long ago signing a new contract. Or Brian, I think if it all comes in for him in the summer, I mean, or next month, I can see O'Brien going because we've got to think of he's out of contract at the end of the season and it's like third choice. Um, like number 10, like, um, he isn't too far up in, in the wingers as well. And like, um, he really isn't a favourite Lee Johnson, and I think. He would want to go and play football if you get what I mean and like go somewhere. Equally, I wouldn't be surprised if O'Brien, if someone were happy just to cable Brian to the end of the season and then let him go when his contract expires. So yeah, I can say both ways, but I think if a good offer comes in for O'Brien, he probably will leave if you get what I mean. So yeah. Left mid, we've got Ian McGain, Ellis Taylor. Tell, Taylor's a young kid and he's barely going to play, if you get what I mean. McGain's out till, till, till February, like I said. So maybe, I'm not saying I would necessarily do this, but you can maybe just recall Josh Hawks for some squad depth, if you get what I mean. If we play 4 one you can play Nathan Broadhead there. Um, if, I guess, say if you want to play Goats on the right, um, Diaku can, like, um, play there. Or if, if like I said, recall Diamond, you've got Diamond to play there. So I do think... If Hawks came back, I wouldn't be mad, but personally, I wouldn't complain if we didn't bring in another wing up if we will great card Diamond. If Diamond doesn't come back, bring another wing up if you get the main, but I like Diamond coming back, I think we'll be fine. So, yeah. Then Strikers, Ross Stewart, Nathan Broadhem, I'm really happy with them. I think they're two good strikers this league, two that will rely on, and two will get goals. But I would also add another one for squad death if you get the main. So, like, if one gets injured, because right now, if one gets injured, we're kind of a bit screwed. If, if, if we get another one that that uh, will take the pressure off them and add a big competition, and um, with Will Greg who out of contract at the end of the season, maybe, um, you could maybe bring him back to maybe like send it like get a permanent deal somewhere. So yeah, so just to pretty much recap, um, I would bring in a right back, a centre midfielder, a striker with Ray Carlin, like. Um, Jack Diamond from his loan and potentially Josh Hawks and I wouldn't be surprised if Patterson left on loan with um Alvis going back back to West Ham and O'Brien might leave. So that's what I think will happen. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this will happen? So the next time we'll say mate is tomorrow for my predicted eleven to play up to it. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, view, comment and say yeah.